Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. What did Dusty Dan do? Well, Dusty Dan is on the screen trying to act brand new. Not going to work, buddy. Yeah, you see, he got popped by the cops. He was sitting in a park like he just chilling. Yeah, he was arrested. Why? Allegedly. Stealing gas. Trying to act brand new. So guess what? Dusty Dan got arrested, boo. He needs to be in there for a very long time. Imagine stealing somebody's gasoline. Person ready to start the vehicle up. The next thing you know, it may chug a little bit. Then you just stop. What the hell has happened? Out of gasoline. So, how are they able to do this? And again, Dusty Dan, I would have no problem giving him a good uh, 10 years. Yeah, I, I would have no problem. And I will bet you, wouldn't bet you this fool probably has uh, priors trying to act brand new. So, I'm glad they caught him. So, let's talk about this. Gasoline. Wow. Um, check this out. This is going to show you how they're able to do this and specifically it seems to be geared toward newer vehicles. Check it out. Fair use, people. Unbelievable. The gas is fueling a new type of crime that's taking place when you least expect it. Gas thieves are crawling right under your vehicle to steal your gas. Wow. And in some cases, even drilling a hole in your gas tank leaving you empty. It's Monday night. I'm Rick Williams, and the big story on Action News is the rise of gas theft. What? It's caused by soaring gas prices, and police want you to be on the lookout for thieves who are finding new ways to rip you off. Mm -hmm. Action News reporter Dan Quayer is live at a gas station in Bellicomit, Montgomery County tonight with the story. Dan. And Rick, perhaps it was inevitable, but authorities are now warning that high gas prices are driving unscrupulous thieves to steal gas from people's vehicles. And the result could pose a dangerous situation for unsuspecting victims. A woman in Allentown who did not want to be identified went to put gas in her car and discovered it was all leaking on the ground. So her neighbor takes a look under the car to see what was happening and could not believe what he was seeing. We started looking on the car. He was like, they drilled under your car. Someone had drilled a hole in her gas tank, apparently to steal her gas. Her husband checked the security camera footage and sees who they believe is the culprit. A man in a green hoodie walking around her car with a drill and a five-gallon bucket. He's mm. just seen the guy, whatever I posted, and that's wow. how I found out that it really was drilled. Previously, criminals would siphon gas to remove it from a vehicle's tank. But newer vehicles now have an anti-rollover valve, making it difficult to siphon gas. So now authorities say criminals are drilling holes directly into the tank. It would wow. be pretty easy on a lot of these newer vehicles, considering most of the gas tanks are made out of plastic. To drill a hole right in the bottom of it. Mike Gibbons of Gibbons Automotive and Media says the victims are left facing expensive damages to their vehicle. It can get pretty pricey, upwards of $1,000 or more. Seriously, <sighs> seriously. AAA says people should be on their guard for the smell of gas when approaching their vehicle or for a puddle on the ground near the gas tank. Also, check the fuel gauge. And it is much lower, then that is also a sign that perhaps someone drilled into your tank to steal your gas. Gina Tidwell says the first thing you should do is call police. You also want to call your insurance company uh, because depending on your insurance policy, this may or may not be covered as vandalism uh, against it's your vehicle. Covered. Now, the victim says a neighbor's car was also targeted and that the thief also stole a radio from another car that she owns. Depending on your now, what she said about insurance, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, I would if that would have happened, I would definitely call. But this here, that's just another example of Dusty's that bring drama. Okay, just like Dusty Dan over here, this fool that they cost sitting gasoline, he was arrested. Dusty's allegedly, Dusty's bring drama trauma financial implications there's too much stuff in the nation you hear what the man said up of a thousand or more the gas prices are enough people work and check the checks so who just has a thousand dollars lying around and even if they do who wants to spend it on that 
That could be somebody's emergency money. A lot of people working don't even have a thousand dollars. And what I mean don't have a thousand dollars, I'm talking about not just emergency money for house money, I'm talking about in the checking account. Kid you not, you, you think? Many don't have that. So that's just another example of Dusty's that bring drama, like Dusty Dan over there. Dusty's bring trauma, financial implications, too much dust in the nation. So then if this happens, you may have an insurance claim on your record. Why? Due to a derelict dust bucket that didn't want to work for his own, make a living. He wants to go ahead and just steal from you, take your resources. And here's a sad thing. Who to say the fool won't come back? Someone said to me, hey, you know, you kind of watch it because um, pretty much when they're stealing gas, because I'm kind of a tomboy, they're like, yeah, they're going to go after people, a, a person that has a, a, an SUV because it can hold more gasoline. So for people out there driving larger SUVs, guess what? We could become a target. And now we know which is why I want to show you this here when he said about plastic, because I was thinking to myself the same thing. It's a wonder it didn't catch on fire. So newer vehicles, it's plastic, so it's not metal. So that's how they're able to drill. But see, Dusty, there's no excuse. You see how they, they're able to maybe do some research? He came prepared when he stole from that woman. He got the drill and the gas can in hand. He ready to go to work. Thieving style, that is. So yeah, people, just be on the lookout. So we see this is more uh, more possible with newer vehicles because I learned something new. It's basically uh, they're made of plastic. So in case it's a rollover, you have a less chance of combustion. Thanks for watching. Feel free to come and like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. And I wish you all well on this hump day Wednesday. Be careful out there. Why? There is dust buckets. There are dust buckets everywhere. And I'm out.